Here's fascinating footage taken by a drone of a new Russian spaceport. It's called the Vostochny Cosmodrome. It's not operational yet, but it's expected to start this spring. It's huge. Not just the launch facilities, but look at all the nearby support buildings. This is a major facility and it's new. It's additional to what Russia already has. What was the last time NASA built a Cape Canaveral? It's a bit of a trick question, of course. No need for a new Cape Canaveral. As you know, Barack Obama shut down America's space shuttle program in 2011. 135 missions the shuttle made, no more. America cannot put someone into space now. It literally had to sign a contract with Russia for them to send Americans into space at an extraordinary price, but not just the price of money, the price of America's national independence, national security, national pride. Did you know that American astronauts have to learn Russian now to go up into space with the cosmonauts? What do you think John F. Kennedy would have said about that? But see, America has higher priorities now. Here, listen to Obama's appointee to run NASA, Charles Bolden, Bolden, when he was first appointed. When I became the NASA administrator, or before I became the NASA administrator, he charged me with three things. One was he wanted me to help re-inspire children to want to get into science and math. He wanted me to expand our international relationships. And third, and perhaps foremost, he wanted me to find a way to reach out to the Muslim world and uh, engage much more with dominantly Muslim nations. Got it. Well, mission accomplished, I guess. There are no more American space shuttles giving effective control of NASA to Vladimir Putin, really. But hey, Islamic outreach, that seems to be going pretty well, isn't it? For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.